to be a grown-up life skills for young adults. This month we're cleaning the bathroom. I've been cleaning bathrooms a lot, so I think I can maybe add some tips and tricks to help you along. My first advice is always clean the bathroom at least once a week. That way it never gets out of hand and stays fairly clean and is typically a fast um, moving job that won't take you very long. So my first tips are sponge. I start with my sponge and I do my countertop sink and then I move to my shower and then I use my sponge last on my toilet so that you're not using germs from your toilet and spreading them around to other places in your bathroom. And then when you're done with your sponge, either put it in your dishwasher, if you don't have a dishwasher, then throw it into your laundry and give it a wash so that you can use it again um, for the next week when it's time to clean your bathroom. First thing I always start with is cleaning the mirrors. Then I go down to cleaning my sink. And when I'm cleaning my sink, I always make sure that I use my sponge and get around the back of the sink and around the back of the faucets, as well as doing the handles and doing the underneath of the faucet where the water comes out because goo will um, build up under there. And especially getting around the drain, you definitely want to clean around there and make sure you don't see any sludge when you're finished. I always use gloves. And I always have like an old yucky towel so when I'm finished, I can then wipe everything nice and clean. And I always clear off my countertops before I get started. So let's say that again. Clean your mirror, take everything off your counters, clean behind your sink, behind, on your faucets, under your faucet, and also in the very bottom, make sure there isn't any pink sludge that sometimes can build up when you are cleaning. So I'm gonna get started, clean this, and then I'm gonna meet you back at the shower. Thanks. Hi, welcome back. Thanks for meeting me over here at the shower. So my shower has a tub and shower walls built in. So I have to clean this entire area. First thing I do is wet it down. Then I take my trusty cleaner. I just use a spray cleaner. Um, you could use something like Comet. If you want to do something a little more healthy, you could just use vinegar. Um, it's a really good cleaning solution as well. Um, so I get all my walls wet, spray my cleaner all over. I suds them up, wash them completely anywhere that the water is hitting because then that way you can take off water spots as well. Then you're gonna move to your faucet handle. You're gonna wanna clean all around underneath here. You'd be surprised what can um, kind of coagulate and grow underneath there. So make sure you get that as well as the drain. You wanna make sure you get around the bottom of the drain. Sometimes there's like some peat sludge that kind of um, can develop there. Get rid of all that. Rinse it out. Dry off the spots that maybe uh, slipped onto your floor. And there you go. Shower is done. Final bathroom clean is our toilet. The most fun uh, part of cleaning the bathroom, not. So I'm going to give you just a couple of tips. Um, I'm going to kind of do this one, not fake like I've done the others. So I give my toilet a little bit of a spray all around. And then I like to use a toilet bowl cleaner that kind of gets up under the ledge and I'll tell you about that later. So I'm gonna give my toilet bowl cleaner a squeeze. Again, you don't have to have something like this. You can definitely just use a um, a comet again it also gives you some really great uh, scrubbing abilities so here we go cleaning the toilet first thing I do is let's get a little cleaner on my sponge I wipe down the top of the toilet I also clean the handle because we are touching that and I clean everything thoroughly I clean the back of the seat and around the edges I clean the seat because we touched that I clean this part of the toilet seat and of course the seat itself. Lift that up and clean the bottom of it like so. And I always try to get underneath here because this is where gross stuff really likes to hang out. 
cream around the edges. Then, also, make sure you go down the front of the bowl and the sides, as well as, and I'm gonna clean right around the very bottom edges of the toilet, which is very, very important from keeping things not looking disgusting. So there, the whole outside of the toilet, the seat is cleaned and wiped down. Now I'm going to get my trusty little brush. This will save your life for toilet cleaning. And I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna get way down inside of the back of the funnel that funnels the water out. And I always take my brush and rub it along the bottom edge of the toilet seat because you would not believe how gross that can get. And if you do that once a week, it will look sparkling clean. And then I just make sure I get all the edges of the toilet, every inch in there, I shove it down the funnel, get the edges, and just like that, super fast and easy. Remember, get around the edges, because things do pop up. Look at my fancy, I just put it in a cup. We're, we're not fancy here. And then I just go and give this a good, thorough wipe down like so. So thanks for joining me today as we do life skills for young adults, uh, cleaning the bathroom. If you maintain this once a week, it's a quick and easy job as you can see. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you again next month with the new How to Be a Grown-Up Life Skills for Young Adults. Thanks for joining me.